Yo, what up, guys? It's Sun TJ back again to review episode 41 of Dragon Ball Super. And with me is my friend that you usually see in my video game playthroughs, fights, whatever, Kendall Brown. Say what's up. <laughs> okay. So the episode starts off after episode 40 where we have the victor, which is Universe 7 with Hit taking a fall and Onaka taking the win, quote unquote. And well, well, Monaka knocked is, that nigga square in his chest, boy. <laughs> he did not stand a chance. Fuck time skill. My, that's my man, Monaka, right there. Okay. <laughs> so the episode ends <laughs> off with the appearance of the Omni King, or in Japanese, Zeno. And it continues off with that. And Zeno is still, like, his voice, I am not going to lie, caught me really off guard. It's yeah. legit based on that yeah. his voice. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's kind of like, it, I don't know how the dub is going to do it, but it's going to be really interesting. And we get information that Zeno, or the Omni King, said by Beerus himself, has the ability to wipe out all 12 universes, because he's the king of all 12 universes, the ruler, in a blink of an eye. And it's really shown that even Supreme Kai, he doesn't know anything about him, but everyone else who's above him does, so it's really weird that Can he we doesn't know. Can we about how every single time Supreme Kai comes on the camera, like, he's always, like, oblivious to everything? That this is man really is supposed to be, This man is supposed to be a Supreme Kai of the whole East Galaxy, and this motherfucker don't know shit about what's going on. He didn't know about no Super Saiyans. He didn't know about jack shit. <laughs> This man don't know anything. That is actually really true. That's actually really true. It's starting to become a common thing now that the Supreme Kai legit doesn't know anything. That might be added to the point that he's very young as the Supreme Kai, but it's starting to become a big deal that every time every time anybody is introduced or anything big, he doesn't know anything. But to go right. on after that, um, everyone's like afraid and like bowing down, and the only one who's actually trying to talk to the Omni King is Goku. With and the government tries to walk up to him, and legit, his crew shows up like, don't nah, fuck nigga, with the nah, Omni King. Nigga, what you doing? What you doing? Hold on, you can't step, you can't step within three feet of my man Zuno over here. Pretty much, and it's kind of like it's kind of funny, but then Zeno or the Omni King says like, nah, he can talk. But then Looks we go like to this man has to calm down his entourage. This man, let, let me talk to you about how badass this man is. This man. Is Roll up in this tournament after it's all over with, with his entourage and said, fuck everybody, this is who you want to focus on right now. I'm the main event helping this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck who won. Y'all going to battle for me, motherfucker. I brought my goons up in here. We about to get in this motherfucker right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying Tell to say fuck God Tell damn me. it. Tell me he did it though. <laughs> he pretty much did in a way, like, except it's hard to keep him, like, you know, to have that mindset when his voice is so fucking high bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker, that makes it even better. Just imagine somebody badass just coming out of nowhere. Motherfucker, with his whole entourage, this motherfucker just rolled up in there and just coming like, Yeah, motherfucker, y'all ain't ready for this shit. Okay, anyway, let's continue on that? what I was trying to say, goddamn it. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so go. So it's a legit like two minutes where everyone's like freaking out and Zeno's about to go off because the brother can't wipe out everything to blink an eye. But Zeno goes along with Goku's handshake and everything. But after Zeno leaves, because oh wait, also before that, he hints the idea of an all twelve universes having a full on tournament. He says that he likes the idea of the current tournament and he said it'd be awesome all twelve universes. So it's very good foreshadowing going on. So we might get to see all 12 universes. Though it might get repetitive because legit, the only thing that's really hype about Dragon Ball Super right now is the tournaments. And I hope we, I don't want Super just to be a tournament series. But hey, I just want to see all 12 universes. Anyway, before well, that, to be well, fair, I, damn near all the Dragon Ball series were like all tournaments. Like every single one of them was like leading up. Like that was like well, that was the main like, arc of like uh, all like of Dragon them. Ball, like, well, the Dragon Ball original was like that, but Dragon Ball Z was, had multiple things going on. So hopefully they do a good balance of the Dragon Ball Z different everything in Dragon Ball's mostly tournament area. So hopefully they do a good balance with that. Uh, also, before... Um, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, before we get to next topic, I just want to say one last thing. Like, Chopin and Beerus was looking like the 
bitches. Like, low-key, you were supposed to think these motherfuckers were supposed to be badass. These motherfuckers turned into some straight wimps. <laughs> you saw how well, they were sweating motherfuckers? Look like they were sweating buckets, bro. <laughs> well, that's how Drag Ball is, though. It's like, um, the, it's kind of like when you see someone that's legit dwarfs human power, because they're only around universe and multi-universe level, while legit... The Omni King can destroy like multitudes and multitudes and universes without even trying. So uh, it's kind of scary. Like if he goes off, he can literally just create another twelve universes. So true. he doesn't need y'all. Fair enough. All right, let's get let's get into the real topic at hand. Why everybody want to see this episode? Well, well we before that, about- we get more we get more foreshadowing of Vegeta visiting on um, Planet Salad because Kabe or yeah, I think his name is Kabe. Um. He yeah. want, he talked to Vegeta calling him Sensei and stuff and telling him I can't wait to use the um, to visit Plant Salad. So we got foreshadowing for all the universes for the next tournament. We also got foreshadowing for uh, a Planet Salad for Vegeta showing up there. Now we uh, we, don't we get go to the through. main event right now. We only <laughs> get to my man the Wing Dragon of Raw, aka Tengen Topa Girl and Lagan looking ass motherfucker right now. Let's get to this super dragon. Alright, this is my this is my part of the video. So right now they they over here they get they got all six of the super dragon balls in universe seven done kick universe sixteen's ass because you know that's how we roll over here. Sixteen. <laughs> sixteen. Six sixteen, goddammit. You ain't gonna interrupt me while I'm doing this. They know exactly what I meant. Now, they find they got this anti climactic the plant that they was on at the actual seven super dragon ball, which I thought was some bullshit, but whatever. But it makes up for it though. When they summon the dragon, this motherfucker they got this whole big scene like fuck go from turn to a super saiyan god. This whole moment right now. I was really going out my feet. This dragon comes up, it looks like a golden blue eyes white dragon. And this motherfucker come out and it eats Saturn. If this motherfucker eats Saturn, bro. <laughs> As it's coming out, <laughs> it's eating Saturn. And it just explodes into the bigger galaxies. There's like 15 Milky Ways swirling around this guy. And it looks like he's about to go fight some motherfucking spiral race and shit. <laughs> let, me add, let me add a little bit more context to this. So... Uh, they they summon the dragon, right? And the name the name of the dragon is Zorama or Zalama in different contexts, because Zalama said in the anime, Zorama said in the manga, and they summon it by using the god language. It, it, it sounds weird saying it, and Beer sounds weird saying it. It is Man, correct. The, god the dragon is, is so Japanese. huge. See, the god huh? language is Japanese, motherfucker. <laughs> It well, it's not because backwards. it sounds completely different with which embarrassed voice actors are saying this um, god language. It's completely different from Japanese. You can tell by how they're even sound. Well, but, actually, uh, it was just confirmed that uh, it's uh, Japanese backwards. That's all the god oh, language is. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know. It's all uh, good, but, bro. That's why I'm here. Zorama, he gets bigger and bigger by some type of exploding of golden energy. And he's correct. He eats Saturn on the way, so Saturn is R.I.P. Saturn's God, I guess, in the Dragon Ball world. And it's like he's correct. If you've seen um, Tor- um, Super Torgan Laga... Uh, I can't even say the name right. How, how you say it? Super Tupin? Tengen Topa Gurren Laga. Yeah, it's Who the hell do that you think big. I it's, it's, am? it's like the size of multiple universes. And it's so big that they have to teleport into another subspace to be able to even talk to Zorama. And while they're there... Beerus tells, you know, Wiss what he wants, and bo- the entire time, Bulma's nervous that uh, Beerus is going to wish for a selfish wish, and Vegeta's trying to calm, da- uh, calm down Bulma because he, he doesn't want Bulma to get slapped again, and he has to go <laughs> off on Beerus, and, you know, he- Beerus will whoop his ass. Man, so, <laughs> so he, he was trying to dodge that bullet. He was like, Bulma, I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up right now. But like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't fight this man. You already know this, so stop talking shit to him right now. <laughs> <laughs> so Beerus makes the wish, right? Well, not Beerus. Beerus tells the, uh, what he wants to wish, and Wish makes the wish. And it's left ambiguous for a while what happened. But we cut to, to the scene of Votto, and she's traveling through the universe, and I don't know where she stops. And then she lets Choppa know that Earth in Universe 6 has been restored. And Choppa, he's confused, but yet we see a smile on his face. And, it's, and so, to let, so pretty much Beerus used the wish of the Super Dragon Balls to help his brother out and give him a plan. Even though Chopper lost, he still won in a way because Beerus was selfish 
and wished for Universe 6 with Earth to come back. And he yeah, also, after that, look at Beerus being a big salty. Well, Naka, oh, go ahead. I said, look at Beerus being a big salty, man. Ever since he done met Goku and Vegeta, that motherfucker done turned into a little pussycat, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, he started off even more ruthless in Dragon Ball Super because, you know, he's destroying planets because fuck it. But I guess exactly. after this man, Goku, this man went know? from destroying planets because fuck it to motherfucking saving the planet. How you doing? See, well, that's, that's what he said. Goku done pulled a Naruto on this man. I, I kid you not. He done talked well, no Goku's Jutsu. been doing that before Naruto. He helped Piccolo. He helped Yamcha. He, you know, he done that before Naruto was even crazy. But. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just giving some people something to relate to, you know. This man done hit Beerus with the... I'm, I'm going to turn you into the god of creation, motherfucker. You're going to bring that earth back to life because you know me. That's how I roll. <laughs> Look at this man. And, oh, yeah. And also, uh, back to what you were saying, he goes back to Planet Weiss or Planet Beerus or whatever planet they name it. And he gives uh -huh. Minaka all this gold. And I think, I'm not sure because we just watched the Raw, but I feel like he said you only get this if you defeat, if you defeat Goku. <laughs> Because I remember hearing him I say think, something I Goku. Say that. I think he said, um, thank you for being a part of the tournament. And Goku said, can I fight him? He said, maybe later. I saw Monaco. Because, you know, Monaco is not strong. Man, I want... Man, we're going to get to that in the next episode preview. But pretty much all that ends, like, the episode just ends off. And it's just, like, it's all a happy ending. The Universe 6 arc is over. Well, not over, yeah, but, but... But the weird thing is, is, for the next... Okay, so it ends off with that, right? It ends off, like, it's, it's pretty much the ending of the Universe 6 slash Champa Saga. Now, for the episode 42, I'm starting to think this is a dream sequence or something in particular is going on because it looks like Monaka took the Hercules belt and cape and is able to challenge same beyond God Goku in his base. Also, Goku reverted back to his regular gi, mm -hmm. and Chi-Chi looks happy, like... I don't know. It seems like it's a this dream. This ain't a dream sequence, bro. Like, this is going to be a lighthearted episode where people are going to be trolling Goku. I'm telling you, this is how I think it's going to happen. Well, well, well but Chita and Piccolo are both, like, you know, surprised too, so I don't know. Well, but Krillin over here using Solar Flare and blinding Goku. I think this is a whole big-ass scam to make Monaka seem like he was actually a badass. That's why he's wearing the Hercule cape and everything. Or or it might be like another miss, like it might be another inconsistency because Solar Flare should even work on Goku anymore, but eh, it's whatever. Hey man, this man got hit by a rock and it hurts, so I, I can't, I, I can't take nothing on. Well, we're, that's we're the what, that's that's holding on to the actual continuity that you know if you let your if you let your key drop for certain so a certain level or let your focus drop, you can still get hurt type of thing. Yeah. So that's like a bit inconsistent thing throughout the series, even in Dragon Ball when Goku almost got killed by Piccolo mm -hmm. after he beat him. Yep. But yeah, Roger. but to end this um in this video off though, uh, for the overall overall episode, um there was a lot of world building. The character Zeno, he looks fun, he looks cool. So to end this episode off, the episode for me is a good nine out of ten. It's not perfect, but the world building saves it and also the animation and beauty when Zorama actually shows up really adds to the the overall episode and also a lot of character development towards viewers in general really after the episode for that so it's not nice for me what about you man just that motherfucker dragon popping out like the wing dragon the rock gave that episode a 10 out of 10 for me i just love that entire sequence right there the sumitomo score was amazing and it was just it was just a lot of fun okay well, guys, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you enjoy our commentary, subscribe. Make sure you comment. Sun and make sure you tell them to keep Kindle. putting me back on this stuff. I know y'all like my commentary. <laughs> Sun to out. Peace. Love you all. That's all, folks.